man, we are ramping up the complexity with complex reactions. Oh my goodness. You see that joke? I just thought of that. All right, let's go. So I need to get like denominators in my numerator, like denominators in my denominator, so I can get into one fraction and then multiply by the reciprocal. That's our goal with these, right? That's our goal. All righty, so my numerator, I'm gonna multiply by y over y. Over here, I'm gonna do x over x. That way I can get x, y as my denominator. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. We're gonna have y over y, x minus x over y, x, or x, y, however you wanna write it. My denominator here, well, this one is like one over one, so I'm gonna multiply that by y over y to get my denominator to match. So now I'm gonna have one over y minus y over y. All right, if you'd like, you can get these into one fraction right off the bat, um, totally up to you. So you could jump right to this step that I'm about to write here. And then we have one minus y over y. So if you wanted to, you go right to that step, whoosh, boom, save a little bit of time. You know what I'm saying? We're feeling fine if we save some time. All right. Anywho, I'm going to multiply by my whoop, reciprocal, right? So I've got y minus x over yx multiplied by y over 1 minus y. All right. Now we can go ahead and multiply everything together, all right, and put it into one fraction. So my – I'll scooch over to the right here. I'm going to have y times y minus x divided by um, yx and then 1 minus y. Ooh, can I do some simplifications now? I didn't really see it at first, but putting it into one fraction kind of helped here. Well, because my y's are being multiplied, not tied to anything with addition or subtraction, those are free to cancel, right? And now I'm going to be left with as my final answer y minus x over x – hold up here – x times – one minus y. I almost thought I saw something. I almost thought I was getting excited. I thought maybe some more cancellations, but no, no more cancellations. That's it. We're going to leave it as that as our final answer. You can distribute that x in if you really wanted to, but you don't need to. So we'll leave it at that. That's complex enough. You know what I'm saying? Oh, can't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. I'm going to stop now.